Audiobook Academy Biography Presents. Evan Spiegel. Snap Incorporated, the company that created the popular photo and video sharing program Snapchat, is led by co-founder and CEO Evan Spiegel. Who is Evan Spiegel, anyway? Evan Spiegel is the co-founder and CEO of Snap Incorporated, the parent company of Snapchat. He was born in Los Angeles, California, in 1990. While attending Stanford University, Spiegel and his old fraternity member Bobby Murphy came up with the concept for the popular photo and video sharing app. Pickaboo, the original name of the app when it was first published in 2011, quickly acquired popularity, and its co-founders became overnight millionaires when Snap went public in early 2017. Spiegel's marriage to Australian supermodel Miranda Kerr is also well known. What is the net worth of Evan Spiegel? With an 18% stake in the firm he established, Spiegel was assessed by Forbes to be worth $3.2 billion in 2018. Snap's stock price fell sharply following its first public offering in March of this year. A 44% gain from its IPO price concluded Snap's first day at $24.48 per share, and Spiegel received 37 million extra shares, increasing his net worth to about $5.5 billion. Relationship with Miranda Kerr it was thanks to Snapchat's popularity that Spiegel was able to experience the trappings of rock stardom, including a relationship with Australian supermodel Kerr. As of July 2016, they were engaged, and in May 2017, they tied the knot in the backyard of their Brentwood home. Kerr is a staunch supporter of her husband's business, she utilized Bitmojis, which Snapchat owns, to adorn their engagement announcement on Instagram, and she later accused Facebook of stealing, all of my partner's ideas. Kerr and Spiegel made the announcement in November 2017 that they were expecting their first child. Creating Snapchat at Stanford Evan Spiegel met future Snapchat CTO Bobby Murphy while both were members of Stanford's Kappa Sigma fraternity. A college admissions website named Future Freshman was put together by the two of them, however the project was abandoned. Recalling Reggie Brown's yearning for disappearing images in 2011, another Kappa Sigma brother, Reggie Brown, expressed the same sentiment in the spring of 2011. The concept struck a chord with Spiegel, and he and Murphy enlisted the help of Murphy, who had already graduated. A little startup was born that summer while the three of them camped out at Spiegel's Pacific Palisades home. Spiegel was the company's CEO and designer, Murphy was the company's CTO slash developer, and Brown was the company's chief marketing officer. Originally known as Pickaboo, the software let users to exchange images that instantly vanished, removing evidence of criminal activity. It was released to the public in July. In August, the initial promise of the idea had given way to infighting, Spiegel and Murphy removed Brown, and the newly renamed Snapchat was launched. Sales were modest in the fall of 2011, but by the next winter, the app had amassed 20,000 users, and by April of the following year, it had grown to 100,000. Lightspeed Venture Partners stepped in with a $485,000 investment in May to help the founders weather the storm of increased demand and skyrocketing server costs. As a result, just a few short weeks before his Stanford graduation, Spiegel decided to leave the school. There are highs and lows on Snapchat. In the months leading up to its initial public offering, Snapchat's potential seemed limitless. Its camera-equipped spectacles went on sale two months later, and Snap Incorporated reported a revenue of more than $400 million for 2016. However, after coming public in March 2017, the company's quarterly results failed to meet expectations, resulting in a share price decline below $12 by August. Its decline was partly caused by fierce competition from rivals like Facebook, which had cloned stories and other Snapchat features, and by dwindling enthusiasm for its once novel features. New algorithmic filtering for material and the development of new goods like the recently disclosed augmented reality lenses were announced by Spiegel at the end of the year. No thanks to Zuckerberg. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg reportedly made a $3 billion acquisition bid to Snapchat in the fall of 2013. In spite of the fact that the company's co-founders would have received $750 million each if the purchase went through, they rejected the offer. Afterward, Spiegel told Forbes, There are very few people in the world who get to establish a business like this. Trading something for a short-term gain doesn't appeal to me, I believe. Lawsuit as was the case with Facebook, a jilted contributor returned to Snapchat after it began to show signs of becoming a large tech business. Reggie Brown sued Spiegel and Murphy in February 2013 claiming that he had a co-ownership interest in the intellectual property they were working on. Brown claimed that the company was founded on his idea, and that he was the one who designed the company's distinctive ghost emblem. 
It wasn't until September 2014 that the two sides reached an agreement to pay Brown $157.5 million for his legal action, which Snapchat lawyers called a transparent attempt to shake down Mr. Spiegel and Mr. Murphy for an equity stake in the firm to which you contributed nothing. Negotiator in his early 20s. His birth date is April 6, 1990. Evan Thomas Spiegel was born in Los Angeles. He was the eldest son of two affluent attorneys and grew up in Pacific Palisades, where he enjoyed membership at exclusive private clubs and family holidays to Europe, the Bahamas, and Maui. An introverted child who developed close friendships with faculty members like his sixth-grade computer teacher who helped him design a model from scratch. As he developed into a young man, he began to come out of his shell, and an internship with Red Bull led to his becoming a party promoter. As a result of his father's insistence for a new BMW after their 2007 divorce, Spiegel eventually moved in with his mother, who agreed to lease him the automobile and helped him establish the negotiation skills that would later serve him well in the corporate world. By the time he graduated from Crossroads School for Arts and Sciences in 2008, Spiegel had become a skilled graphic designer, allowing him to follow in his father's footsteps by gaining admission to Stanford University. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this, see you in next video.